Oh! You did it again! You screwed Grandma again! You unry little children. How are you? I'm happy to see you. And I bet you're here for a story. But guess what? I don't feel like reading a story. So I'm just going to read it to myself. You don't want to? You want me to read it? Are you sure? Mm. I don't know if I want to read this one to you. Mm. Really? All right. All right. I will read it just for you. It's called Frederick, and it's about this little mouse. What do you suppose he's up to? Let's find out. Frederick by Leo Liani. All along the meadow where the cows grazed and the horses ran, there was an old stone wall. In that wall, not far from the barn and the greenery, a chatty family of field mice had their home. But the farmers had moved away. The barn was abandoned and the greenery stood empty. And since winter was not far off, the little mice began to gather corn and nuts and wheat and straw. They all worked day and night. All except Frederick. Frederick, why don't you work? They asked. I do work, said Frederick. I gather sun rays for the dark, cold winter days. And when they saw Frederick sitting there, staring at the meadow, they said, And now, Frederick? I gather colors, answered Frederick simply, for winter is gray. Look at those busy little mice. And once Frederick seemed half asleep. Are you dreaming, Frederick? They asked reproachfully. But Frederick said, Oh no, I am gathering words, for the winter days are long and many, and will run out of things to say. The winter days came when the first snow fell. The five little field mice took to their hideout in the stones. In the beginning, there was lots to eat. And the mice told stories of foolish foxes and silly cats. They were a happy family. But little by little, they had nibbled up most of the nuts and berries. The straw was gone and the corn was only a memory. It was cold in the wall and no one felt like chatting. Then they remembered what Frederick had said about sun rays and colors and words. What about your supplies, Frederick? They asked. Close your eyes, said Frederick, as he climbed up on a big stone. Now I send you the rays of the sun. Do you feel how they're golden glow? And as Frederick spoke of the sun, the four little mice began to feel warmer. Was it Frederick's voice? Was it magic? And how about the colors, Frederick? They asked anxiously. Close your eyes again, Frederick said. And when he told them of the blue periwinkles, the red poppies and the yellow wheat, and the green leaves of the berry bush, they saw the colors as clearly as if they had been painted in their minds. And the words, Frederick? 
Frederick cleared his throat, waited a moment, and then, as if from a stage, he said, Who scatters snowflakes? Who melts the ice? Who spoils the weather? Who makes it nice? Who grows the four-leaf clovers in June? Who dims the daylight? Who lights the moon? Four little field mice who live in the sky. Four little field mice like you and I. One is the spring mouse who turns on the showers. Then comes the summer who paints in the flowers. The fall mouse is next with walnuts and wheat. And winter is last with cold little feet. Aren't we lucky the seasons are four? Think of a year with one less or one more. When Frederick had finished, they all applauded. But Frederick, they said, you are a poet. Frederick blushed, took a bow, and said shyly, mm, I know it. Oh, that little Frederick. You know, his little friends were busy collecting all those seeds, and he just sat there soaking in the sun and the colors. But when uh, all the seeds were gone in the wintertime, he helped them pass the days with the colors and the soaking of the sun. He helped them. So I have to go. Ta-ta for now. But always remember, wait, do I love you guys? Mm. Of course I do. Mwah. Bye.